All right, what is up guys? We're back at it again with another Mr. Olympia 2022 video talking about William Bonac and William did not look great here. If you know William for the past couple years, he is an incredibly big, round, full, and muscular physique. Still big, round, full, and muscular, but a downsized version, if you know what I mean. Now, we're actually going to go shot for shot. William, 2022 Mr. Olympia versus William at the 2017 Mr. Olympia. So, we're actually get into the shots right now. First shot is going to be the traditional front double biceps. And there we can see William on the far left. Now, going to what he used to look like back in 2017. Yeah. I mean, that is a massive difference. So look at him here, all the way on the far left, uh, kind of wearing the purplish trunks. Notice the legs, notice the arms, notice the, toes, the uh, torso, the chest. Everything just seems incredibly downsized especially the legs i mean those legs were bursting full those are some incredible incredible legs but now it's crazy man i mean even the arms didn't extend i mean his biceps are still insane but they're not what they were not that long ago actually i mean 2017 was not that long ago we're not talking about decade we're talking about you know just a couple years front last spread and uh, we can freeze frame right there so you can see the chest, the lats, the midsection, the quads, the arms. Front lat in 2017, I mean, look at the chest. Look at the difference in chest. That is a really incredible world-class chest. Here, super flat, incredibly flat. Um, the arms here, now this is really a front arm pose for William because his arms are just so dominant. It really just takes away from the lats themselves, but you can still see the lats here. Uh, sporting somewhat of a V taper, somewhat. Legs are incredible. I mean, world class legs. Here, the legs are just not what they were. The arms are still big, but even the arms are not what they were. The delts are not what they were. Just not the same William Bonac, unfortunately, right? Going in to the side chest. And let's compare the 2022 version to the 2017 freeze frame. Notice the chest, the arms, the legs, and this is the 2017 version. I would say pretty much from the side, he is pretty similar. I mean, the arm is still ridiculously big from the side, although probably not as separated, but that could be a lighting issue. The legs look comparable but he does have those noticeable bumps that just don't appear to be there in 2017 there's two of them actually if you notice those two bumps he has there in his leg um it could be muscle i don't know noticeable bumps i see the chest is the most apparent thing man the chest is flat here that is a world-class chest i mean that's a full massive pec now looks a little flat to me but uh, other than the flat chest and the bumps and legs, everything is comparable, I would say. Moving on, turning around to the back, heading into the back double bicep. Now, this is traditionally Williams' money shot. This is how he kept in the top five of the Olympia for years. Now, this isn't specifically a pose, but you do pull the elbows back to show the Christmas tree. And he does do this in 2017. So we're going to compare what he used to look like in this pose. And yeah, it's just not the same. So very crazy apparent Christmas tree. Everything is insane. Dug out glutes. I mean, my God, the back is not the same, man. Uh, he's is, is he suffering from the same thing the other guy is suffering from? The missing lower back. Very apparent lower back crazy lats to 2022 they're non-existent still has the calves and the glutes and the lower body from the rear still there but the lower lats are just gone it's a crazy phenomenon man crazy phenomenon and it gets into the pose there it is and we look at the back double that's just not the same back like at all this back is incredibly thick, massive, very developed lower lats, just overall balance, proportion, polish. Mm, 
is it even in the pose properly there it is it's a little better so i was saying the arms are very downsized but even with the arms in the pose still not the same so glutes look good lower body is definitely looking good arms are a little bit to be desired if you compare them to a 2017 version and the back is just it's not missing but it's definitely downsized especially in the lower lat area for sure moving on getting into the back lat spread and we're going to see what's going on with this pose over here locks it in from the bottom and there's that christmas tree pose again we can take a look here it's just not the same pose at all fortunately the lats are just disappearing bam back lat spread and as we can see here it is comparable but not the same his back previously was incredibly filled out oops i tried to set his back before was very filled out just oodles of muscle everywhere still has a lot of muscle but just doesn't fill it out the same i mean like i said i, I know he had a lot of issues early on with the gyno surgery and i think he injured a quad a year or two back i'm not sure what it was uh we don't really get a good side tricep from william unfortunately uh due to just the angle being focused more on the center guys we can kind of see the side leg here the midsection uh going to his side tricep before and we can see his midsection is a bit bloated distended here it's a flat very impressive great midsection uh, i don't think he's posing on the same side as well this looks like the opposite side of his body but i do prefer from what i can see this side of the side tricep back in 2017 versus what he's showcasing here mainly because the midsection is sticking out here the midsection back in the day was just checked all the time no distension now you can see a bit of bloatedness and uh distension um Wow, is he flexing? What, what was that? Bro, are you not flexing the abs? So, ab and thigh, hands overhead, and he's, wow, that is, that is awkward. That is, um, that is a messy ab and thigh, my boy. Okay, uh, yeah, do, do that one. Um, damn. So here was his ab and thigh before, and you can just notice the legs. A lot of legs, abs, just, William doesn't have abs. He doesn't have a good midsection. He's always done the ab and thigh pose, showing the serratus, which he also doesn't have a lot of either. But uh, when he tries to hit the conventional, you can see why he doesn't. It's just, he doesn't even seem like he can flex the abs. He doesn't crunch down. He doesn't breathe out the air. There's no flexing at all in the abs um it's just not the same pose he didn't even flex the leg when he showed the side serratus if you notice the leg there he would usually flex it he didn't even he didn't he didn't finish the pose i don't know i guess he's not confident anything from the abs last but not least the most muscular and it's not the same william man like look at this this is perfect proportions perfect calves perfect legs arms chest shoulders now still pretty good actually uh still pretty good most muscular i mean chest looks to have come back to life arms are still full delts are full quads are looking better not the quads of yesterday but quads are looking better in the most muscular pose calves are always there um not bad you know i think this is probably the most comparable pose that he's hit uh comparable as you can compare him to his previous but his previous still wins because he has a full massive chest. I mean, incredible chest, incredible legs. It just doesn't compare. So, guys, down below, let me know what you think about William Bonac at the 2022 Mr. Olympia. I thought he was off by quite a bit. And uh, it does suck because William is definitely a crowd favorite, fan favorite. Been in the Olympia competing for probably, a what I say, a decade now? Maybe seven years now, eight years. And uh, has done very well cracking the top 10 and even the top 5 every single time. This has been his lowest placing in the past, I would say, what, 7 years, maybe? So, a big step backwards. You can see the regression in his physique. Young guys are coming up and just decimating him. And uh, 
It sucks, man, but it happens to everyone. You know, this sport, you can't last forever. And while you have it, you better make it good. And that's just how it is, guys. So quick video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, share, comment down below. If you're not subscribed, make it a thing. Sub to the boy, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.